All right, hello, I'm in this place, 37. Uh, today, I got a match against my boy, Cisco. Um, shout out to him. He lives up in D.C. He's really good at Smash Ultimate. He's been helping me improve a bit. But uh, today, I'm be using Snake, and he's going to be using Lucina. Uh, I forgot to record like the uh, background music and sound effects like in Smash Ultimate, so it's just me talking right now and probably music in the background. But um, yeah, it's a, this wasn't really a close match because I've, I've gotten a lot better with Snake. Uh, I've just been trying to master Snake overall. He's a really uh, fun character to use. And he has a lot of really good mechanics and tools to his uh to his advantage. So I just use those and try to overwhelm my opponent. But um this guy's Lucina. I think he just started using Lucina, but Lucina's really good. Um she's one of the characters that gives Snake's the heart Snake the hardest time because she can just stop his recovery. Uh she's really good at edge guarding, so that's my only problem I think I have in this match. But other than that, I just overwhelm him and just throw as many projectiles and grenades at him because Snake has a lot of really good projectiles and a lot of uh disjoint moves that are really good. So um, right now, uh, neutral, they're still playing neutral, which is like um, basically how the characters interact with each other, like when the match starts or whatever. But uh, I'm just starting to just overwhelm him with a lot of percent. And then eventually I'm just going to kill him with like, a, uh, I think, an up smash or whatever. But Snake, what makes Snake such a good character is that he just has a lot of setup and he plays based off a of opponent's prediction. So like right here, uh, what I'm about to do is I'm uh, so he he mashed out right there or air dodge or whatever. But I'm about to bait out a, um, a down throw up tilt kill. And Snake has um, a mechanic. Well, not a mechanic, but basically if the opponent is at uh, 160 or above, Snake can just buffer an up tilt and it will instantly die. And it's really good against a lot of uh, characters. Pretty sure it works on everyone. But um, yeah, right here, I think I'm about to die. Yeah, I'm about to die right here because Lucina is really good at edge guarding. He could just back air me. He didn't have to worry about anything else. And then he just up Bs for free. So um, that was a bad part or bad play on my part because I definitely could have made it back. But right here, I'm just going to um, nair and combo him. And then one thing I got a lot better at with Snake in general is uh, two framing with my up smash or my moves in general. Because uh, when Snake two frames, it can really just scare your opponent, especially if they don't have a jump. Um, so that's what I'm doing right here. I just keep on like, um, like keeping him at the ledge and then pummeling him with my uh, with my grab. And I'm about to get like a footstool uh, cypher kill right there, which is like... <laughs> really hard to get but um i'm pretty sure that, that that was guaranteed i don't think he could do anything in that situation but right now since i have a sock advantage uh, against him i'm just going to overwhelm him with everything that i have um snake is a really good character especially when it comes to like percent i can just live to like 150 and he's heavy so that's what i'm going to do and i keep on two framing him with the up smash which i know is like pissing him off because two framing is very important in this game and it can really determine like whether or not a character can live or not so that's what I do like um, a lot in this match, and I think it started to throw him off a bit. But now that I have the advantage, I'm starting to play a lot more, um, not aggressive, but uh, I play, I'm play. i playing a little bit safer, actually, because I'm, I'm still using grenades. If I were to play a lot more aggressive, I'd just be throwing out moves like there were no tomorrow. And then right there, I got a, a sticky C4 to back throw. So basically what I do is, um, so he was in a bad position, so all I did was just back throw him, or I didn't back throw him. Uh, he just let up shield, and I just put a C4 on him. He probably could have upbeat and knocked me out of that, but um, I just C4 and then back throw and then downbeat and he died. And it's really, it's really strong. The C4 does like 20 something. So yeah, um, that was this match. I'm trying something new for the channel. I haven't uploaded Smash Ultimate in like a very long time. So this is, um, this is one of my, uh, I guess, new things I'm trying this year. But yeah, thank you for watching this video and peace.